Hi, my crafty friends. I hope all of you are having a fabulous day. Today, we're going to be making yet another challenge uh, card. And this challenge for this month is using the colors orange, brown, and pink. And I've been having a blast creating these cards. So to begin, I started with this stamp set. This is a new stamp set from Mamie Made It. The name of this stamp set is called Friendly Faces. And I love the stamp set. It has the cutest little faces. And it has faces with glasses. It has smiley faces, winky faces, and it's just adorable. To begin this card, I stamped the sun image onto a purple tape, and you can use masking tape. I didn't have masking tape, so I decided to use my purple tape, and I fussy cut that out, and you think it takes a while, but it really was simple. The second, I just recently got these Nouveau alcohol markers, and I am so impressed by them. I love the colors. I think the price point is amazing. Um, especially for alcohol markers, you know, they can get expensive. So it, I just, I loved it. The only difference between these and higher brands is that um, they don't have a brush nib. And honestly, this nib is so, so um, precise. Coloring is a breeze. So I went with my lightest color. And I just colored that whole background panel. Then I took my little uh, masking um, sun that I had created earlier. Then I and I took the lightest, I mean the second lightest color, so the medium tone. Um, another thing that I love about these uh, alcohol markers is that it does come with three to a set, and the sets are um, color coordinated or um, the ones that would blend well together. So it's kind of awesome. So this is the mid tone or the medium color. So all I did was I went with the light color first, then second I went with this. Um, medium color and I just kind of went just past that sun and just simply colored it in and as you can see I'm not doing anything fancy I am just scribbling color on I'm going back and forth onto my um, background paper and just simply coloring nothing more than that then I went with that darkest color look how deep and beautiful that orange is I love that orange it's just it reminds me of versifying let's see um habanera I think that's the color's name oh man I love this color so anyway <laughs> moving on because I had used the purple tape instead of uh, masking tape I did have to go a little um extra I had to be a little extra careful with the sun just because it is a thinner paper um or thinner sticker paper so I just had to be a little bit more careful and just kind of go in between the grooves of that sun. Then I went with that medium tone once again and just blended these colors out and look how beautifully it blends. I mean, I was impressed. <laughs> I hope you guys can tell by this video how impressed I was and I, I hope you can tell how easily these blend because really they do. Um, I was super impressed by it. It's, I mean, maybe it's just because it comes in a pack where it just kind of color coats it for you so you know exactly which colors um, blend well together versus any other uh, alcohol markers that I've had before where I haven't really had a chance to do that or match the colors. So I don't know exactly which colors blend well together and which don't. So with this, it's just, it. it's like a manual. It's just lets you know in advance that these colors match together so you can definitely blend amazingly with these colors so i created this really nice little sunset background that i've been wanting to create for a long time now and when you remove that little let's see the sun the masking tape it reveals the sun that is just bright just like that background now you can leave that sun just as it is but i wanted to go in and stamp on it now, what I wanted to do is I wanted my background to be a little bit more uh, cartoon-like and not so, so um, let's see what the word, realistic, <laughs> that's what I'm looking for. So I wanted it to be a bit more cartoon-like and that's why I stamped it with that uh, memento ink on top. So if you don't want to do that, you don't have to do that, but I just, I wanted this kind of a look. Then I tore some paper, and I'm sure you've seen this before, but done by many other uh, YouTubers or other crafters. And I, all I did was I just tore that paper any which way I wanted to. 
and then I just dabbed some ink onto that top part of that paper and this is going to give little hills, little grass and you'll see how cool this looks. I love um, using this trick because it's awesome. What I wanted was I wanted different layers for this card without having many layers and I wanted it to look like the sun was shining and there were shadows set all over this background and um, I used this with the acorn uh, ink from Versafine Claire and it worked really nicely I loved exactly um, how it came out and you can see it just kind of looks like the shadow shadows of of um, just trees and I'm going to also be stamping trees on it so it will make sense a little bit more as I, as soon as I do that. Here you can see that I took this memory lane stamp set from Mamie Made It and I love this tree, it's so versatile. I use it all the time, not just for Christmas, I use it literally all the time, all year. Um, and I this is going to be a fall card so it's perfect for a fall card. So I took that same ink color, the Acorn and Versafine Claire, and I just stamped some trees all around. And this is what I meant earlier. You can see how there's certain parts that are brighter, certain parts that are darker, and it creates shadows, and it creates depth to your card. And I thought it was just really neat that it created this, and it was such a simple way to create this kind of a effect and this kind of a look so i really was happy with it now i did stamp some of the smaller trees and some of the larger trees and some i did double stamping or second generation stamping some i did not all just to kind of make it seem like some trees are further back some trees are further in the front some are just shadows of trees some some are just um trees that are uh, creating shadows with other trees it just it was a um, very random kind of assortment of trees that I thought would look good in this scene and like I said I wanted a very cartoon like uh, feel to this card um, and I think I really did achieve that cartoon like look so I was really excited I wasn't going for realistic I was going for cartoon and it's really neat I was so happy with this because I love if you can see those hillsides kind of and then where those shadows or the sun is heading and you can see that the sun hits it and then it creates these shadows I just love that once I was done uh, stamping my little beautiful trees, I just put some art glitter glue, my favorite kind of glue, and I just put this onto a very light pink background because I thought the color from that orange would pick up through that pink with that pink and it would make that lighter pink more of a contrasting nice pink with that um, orange. I also took a pink Nouveau alcohol marker and I colored a strip of Nina cardstock uh, into pink and then I used my Acorn Versafine Clear ink to uh, stamp the sentiment and my sentiment says autumn blessings um, just because I thought this was a perfect card for fall and I just I really thought this sentiment was perfect now when I did fussy cut this out I realized that sentiment was a little too lost in all the background so all I did was I took a lighter alcohol marker um, the pink lighter pink from that same set and all I did was just again take a strip of Nina cardstock that I had in my uh, scrap and I colored that in and then I layered that onto um, my lighter color so it creates a more focal point and then I just put some 3D foam tape on the back of that and just raise that up with that tape and that completes my card. I thought it came out great. Let me know how what you guys think about it but I thought it... Uh, I, the favorite, my favorite part from this card is just how the sun reflects on the trees and how the trees have the shadow. That is my favorite part. Let me know what's your favorite part. Hey, if you guys like this video today, please, please, please make sure to like this video. And if you haven't already, I would really appreciate your subs uh, you subscribing to my channel. Um, that way you get notified every time I have a video or upload a video. Until next time, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.